Hi everyone and welcome back. Thanks for joining us this month as we learn how to say challenge accepted. And we have a memory verse this month. It's 1 John 5, 5. It says, who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Keep practicing those memory verses. Let's jump into some singing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. Stomp your feet. Shake the devil off. Stomp your feet. Shake the devil off. Stomp your feet. Shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. Give off your back. Shake the devil off. Shake the devil off. Get him off your back, shake the devil off. Get him off your back, shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. Use God's sword, shake the devil off. Use God's sword, shake the devil off. Use God's sword, shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. you guys had a great Valentine's Day and got some treats from the adults in your life or your friends and teachers. Mr. Jameson got me this yummy, yummy chocolate bar. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. But he made me promise that I couldn't eat it until tonight. That is a long time from now. And it looks so good. I really just I really just want to take a bite because I think if I if I open this paper a little bit, I can take a bite and fold it right back and he would never know. Do you think I should? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Do eat it. Oh, no? I should I shouldn't do that, right? That's that's not being honest. That's that's not being kind to Mr. Jameson. It's not keeping my promise. But it looks so good. Are you are you sure? I can't just take one bite. No, stop! Don't eat it. <sighs> hmm, this is really hard. I wonder if Callie can help me. Let's see if Callie's video can help me today. Do an awesome job. It was really 
one hand. You were great. Well, that was that was cool. I mean, you know, she did that challenge where she carried the ball on the spoon with one hand and they told her not to use two hands and she didn't, even though I'm pretty sure she wanted to. But that's not really the same, right? I mean, this isn't really a challenge. It's just chocolate. I think I want one bite. No, 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 no! Okay, you're right. You're right, I should not eat it. Thank you for helping me. But I think I need a little more help. Maybe our Bible story today, it's about the temptation of Jesus. Maybe the Bible story will help me today. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn another amazing story about Jesus. Great! In this story, Jesus is tempted to do things that were wrong. What does tempted mean? Tempted is when we want to do something really bad, but it's not the right thing to do. Like what? Maybe take a cookie that your mom told you not to take. You really want to listen, but you really love cookies too. Oh yes, that happens a lot. So Jesus was tempted not to eat cookies, but he was in the desert where it was very hot and dry. The desert was covered in sand and rocks. For how long? Jesus was in the desert for 40 days, and he didn't have anything to eat. Jesus was tired and also very hungry. Why didn't he eat something? Jesus chose to go without food so he could only focus on talking to God. Oh, I see. Jesus knew that God was preparing him to do something great, so he needed to get ready. Soon, the devil came along and tried to trick Jesus. The devil is an old enemy of Jesus who kept trying to make Jesus do bad things. First, the devil tried to get Jesus to turn stones into bread. Jesus was really hungry and he could have done it, but Jesus said no. Great job, Jesus. It didn't stop there. Second, the devil took Jesus up to a really high place in the city. The devil tried to tempt Jesus again to jump and make angels catch him. Jesus said no. Jesus knew the devil was trying to trick him, so the devil tried to tempt Jesus a third time. This time, the devil told Jesus that he would give him all sorts of treasures if Jesus would stop obeying God and started obeying the devil. I know how this ends. Jesus told the devil no. You got it. After that time, the devil left Jesus alone. And do you remember those angels that the devil tried to get Jesus to call on? They came and took care of Jesus after that. Because Jesus obeyed God? That's right. Jesus could have done all the things that the devil told him to do. But Jesus knew that's not what God wanted him to do. So even though he was tired, hungry, and very weak, Jesus said no to the devil and said yes to God. Wow, you guys, Jesus was really good at saying no, right? He told the devil no so many times and he did not let him trick him. You know, Jesus is a great example. I made a promise and the Bible says that we need to let our yes be yes and our no be no. We need to be people of integrity and keep our word. That's what Jesus' Bible says. So thank you, Jesus, and thank you, friends, for helping me learn to say no. And I promised Mr. James and I wouldn't eat this. So I'm going to wait till tonight and keep my promise. See you guys next week. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you and Jesus always have our backs, God, and that you keep us covered. Thank you so much for helping us when Satan tempts us, God, and when the world tempts us. And thank you for helping us be strong enough and brave enough to say that we can do this. We've got this with your help. We love you and we pray all this in your son's name. Amen. See you guys next week.